work. They call this work, y'all? Really? They pay me for this? Wow, man. All right, guys. Sunday morning, y'all. I'm headed over here to do this little bobcat job. Uh, we're going to... Uh, I'm going to spread a little gravel. I'm going to uh, spread a little dirt, spread a little gravel, try to pack it down best I can. Uh, yeah. 770683. Oh, it's Ray. It's Ray. What's up, Ray? Who this? Oh. Oh, what's up, man? Dude, I don't know what you're doing, man. I, I mean... <laughs> I, I I don't know where I don't I'm 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 on my way to work, dude. I've been in the room. You didn't call yeah, me yesterday. Yeah, you didn't call me either, dude. I don't know what room you're in. I told you two two two. Uh huh. Oh, you didn't tell me what room you're in. I don't know, dude. I don't know what you're gonna do, dude. I ain't. I'm not. I'm not. You just too much trouble, dude. Yeah. How come you didn't call me all day yesterday? All day long. Was you drunk? Fucked up. No, I did call you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Not yesterday. You did not. I called you about 6.30 in the afternoon, and I called you this morning. Yeah, well, this morning, uh, uh, I'm working in Fairburn, dude. I'm not coming to noon, dude. Oh, so, uh, I don't know. I mean, you need a phone, dude. You need a phone. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, uh I mean... You gonna be just, well? If I get my phone and my, see my phone, and told me you was. Getting, you told last I heard from you, you told me you was getting a phone, and that was two days. Uh, that my, was two days ago. My, yeah, I know. But I'm just telling you. Did you my get it? Phone and my and my ten speed is at the one roof thrift store right now waiting. When they open the doors in the morning, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna uh, you told me that. You told me you was gonna do that. Have any words? If you told me that you was gonna do that on Friday. No, I'm just telling you the facts. Man. Well, well, the, the fact, fact was, was you was gonna do it on Friday. See, man, you you're unreliable as, as, as that, that old bull crap, right, man. I haven't seen you in months, dude. I know you're you're I'm unreliable. You're unreliable as hell, dude. Well, I'm, if I'm not gonna work, I'm not even coming back to Sonoy. I mean, I'm gonna okay, get Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you, dude. I, I <clears throat> can't work without a phone. Well, you ain't got a. Well, I mean, if you can find a job, I mean, that's what I would do. I figured you'd been done finding a job. What have you been doing for money? Uh, I've just been hanging out, man. I, I know, that's what you do, life. man. You love to hang out. <coughs> Watching the Capitals get fun. Yeah, that was two weeks ago. They just showed up this morning. That, well, that, but that was, that happened two weeks ago. You know, I don't know, man. I don't know what your deal is, dude. You, you, you're, you're, you're just so far unreliable, man. I can't count on you, man. You, yeah, and you don't have a place to stay in Sonoa. So why would you even come back to Sonoa? I don't understand. Work. But yeah, but the work, you don't have a place to live. It's cold it's outside. Outside. That's my business. They no. let me stay over there sometimes. Yeah. I, I stay it's your, bin, it's your business until until you don't have a phone, and then it's my business because I, because I can't I don't have no reliable help. So you make it. I just told you, dude. Dude, I just told you I'm going to get my phone. You told me that the other day. I don't care what I said the other day. Well, I, I, well, that's a, walking it back up to Newton. Either. I did not feel like walking back to Newton, so I stayed at my room okay, all weekend, so. so I wouldn't get rid of it, so I'd have it tomorrow. Okay, well, then you'll, as soon as you get a phone, you'll get rid of it. It don't matter. You just... No. All right, man. Well, I don't know what to say, man. I'm taking a bobcat over here to Fairburn, man. I'm going to make my $900, man. i got to get it. I just wanted to see if you needed some help. Uh, today, yeah, dude. I need help. I need help all day long. I need help, but I, I, ain't, coming to, I ain't coming to Newton. I ain't working nobody that don't have a phone. So, no phone, no work, man. I don't know how, how. Call me. Don't call me again until you have your own phone. Okay? Okay. All right. Good day. So, we, we pulled up over here. I got the scope of what they want to do. And uh, they want us to push all this wood line back. Uh, all the way, this whole line right here. So, I'm going to set you guys up somewhere. And y'all can get a little bit of the, y'all can see some of that. <music>
All right, y'all. So, uh, uh, y'all saw me push that down right there. That's a pretty good bit of work right there. But man, something's up with the ground around here. It just is so saturated. Maybe some of y'all vets can give me some can school ray a little bit. I'm going to show you guys what we got going on down here. And uh, I'll turn the camera back on when I get over there. Okay, y'all. So uh, this driveway right here, uh, they got, it's real muddy. I done, I done been working over here for over an hour just trying to get the mud out of here. Of course, you know, they had a water line just installed right in the middle and it was only like two inches above the ground. I mean, two inches below the ground and it was exposed in some places. So what they've been having problems is the, the trucks coming back here to work on these uh, modulars they got, uh, they've been getting stuck. So uh, now it was a lot worse than this now. I just left the camera in the truck. So, but they need big gravel and we don't have big gravel. And today's Sunday. So I'm gonna put you guys on the on the hood of this thing, on the hood of the Bobcat. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to make it where it's, you know, it's not so freaking muddy. They do have some of this black top. It looks like black crushing run. Uh, and we're gonna, they got about, I don't know, probably 10 yards, I mean, 10 tons of it. Uh, that's about, I'm gonna put about three buckets out, but uh, they got a bunch of dirt too. And they sold the dirt to these the homeowner here, you know, saying that it was, you know, about 50% rock, you know, 60% rock, and it might be 10% rock. So we got, we got three tandem loads of dirt out there that really is just dirt. So I'm not sure exactly what, uh, what we're going to do but one thing it does is it guarantees rays coming back because you can't move all that dirt without a machine like this and you got and you can't move and you can't spread gravel without a machine like this in this location the truck drivers wouldn't back up in here and do this so i'm going i'm telling them they need to get big gravel not in the 57 but whatever the other one is what is it number three or whatever i can't remember but big gravel so yeah what they're doing here is they're building they're bringing these modulars in and i don't know i think they're going inside them and they are uh basically turning them into a place to live uh yeah and they're going they got another one coming today and that's why they were in a rush and see sometimes the homeowners you know uh on any given job they think they got everything and then they don't for instance, they don't have any gravel here. They thought that this black stuff was gravel, you know, and this is not gonna work. This is just base, uh, and it's not really enough to, to do anything uh, with. So, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, though I'm gonna make the $1,000 today, no matter what, that, that I'm gonna have to come back. Well, that's good for me in a way, but you know, I don't like to roll like that. I, I won't. I want to be able to be all I can be when I come to a job with the Bobcat. Now keep in mind, these are my regular customers. They've been my customers for probably eight years, you know, doing the lawn and uh, they're really good people, man. So I don't mind working for them and I will definitely uh, do everything I can to make it where uh, trucks don't get stuck. Cause what's been happening is the truck's been coming through here and they're not now, keep in mind, I done ran across it for over an hour. So, and this right here is the softest spot, but they've been, the homeowner here is having to use his four wheel drive truck to pull the contractors out of the mud hole. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna keep uh, doing what I'm doing, just running over it. And what I've been doing is filling the bucket up and then running over it with the full bucket. Is that a good way to do it, you think? Is that, does that make, that makes me heavier, right? Cause the biggest thing is pressing this stuff down. Uh, we need some gravel big time. If they have big gravel, then then see, I could do all this today and they wouldn't have to have me come back. But the way it's, it is, is I'm gonna be back over here uh, relatively quick because they're not gonna wanna, uh, you know, they're not gonna wanna leave this like this and it rain on it or uh, whatever. And then, then their crush and run wash away or whatever and they're still having to pull contractors out 
to uh, you know out of the mud hole because I can't hardly fix the mud hole. And then to make things even worse, they got they 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 had some low budget ass contractor come in here and put a water line in, right? I don't even think he used a trencher, y'all. The water line was exposed in about four different places. I mean, it's not even two inches under the ground. So that made it where I couldn't drag the driveway like I wanted to. You know, I couldn't drag it. I couldn't hardcore drag the driveway and get all the mud and muck off the top of it and get down to some decent hard dirt, see? And that in itself has made it where I'm having to work with what I got. So this is the best I can do uh, based on what I'm working with. So I'm fixing to spread out this uh, this black top or crush, black top crushing run, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, and you know, just try to make it just keep running over it back and forth, back and forth. All right, y'all, uh, I'm gonna put y'all on the dash up here. Do some time lapse. Peace out. y'all so I'm fixing to rip out all this stuff right here and uh, with the T190 y'all the T190 yeah I'm gonna hang you So here the homeowner is hollering for me to come and help them move this this second modular shed into place because the truck has gotten stuck. So now I'm spending the time, you know, that I'm there to help pull this truck out and to get this modular home backed up beside the other one. A big waste of time, uh, for real and it put me way behind on doing the work I'm actually getting paid for. So I'll probably spend an hour and a half fooling with that truck, modular home, getting the truck in there and getting the truck out. So. So here I go getting my own chain and taking the chain over to uh, the back of this trailer they got and now I'm going the guy's going to hook my chain to his axle and I'm going to pull backwards while he backs up the thing is uh, you know it held me up so this is where the video is going to end because I didn't have time to fool the camera no more I was there an extra hour and a half uh, on top of what I was supposed to be so yeah it's uh, Monday morning I did a video yesterday but I did not have time to edit it uh, we ran into some issues over there uh, doing this bobcat uh, job uh, <clears throat> not really issues that I created but the owners over there created uh, I mean 
you know, there's always, you know, well, I was supposed to be doing fixing their driveway and taking out some of the wood line, okay, and doing some a little bit of work on a gravel driveway where they're doing a little bit of construction. Uh, and they told me they had the gravel there. They told me they had some some uh, good uh, dirt there to where I could build the road base up and and they had some crushing run there. I get over there and they ain't got all they got is dirt. And they got a little bit of, well, it looked like uh, asphalt millings, you know. Uh, I don't, they called it Crush and Run, but it, 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 it wasn't Crush and Run. And it was a real mud hole over there, so. Uh, Anyway, by the time I got done over there, I was very frustrated and stuff, so, and I spent seven hours over there for a thousand dollars, you know, but I could have got done in, you know, around five hours, five and a half hours, but they kept, all these curveballs kept getting thrown at me, they, they had somebody delivering a big mobile home, you know, on a uh, like a big storage shed, basically, and uh, they got stuck, and I spent an hour unsticking their, uh, you know, uh, the truck that got stuck, backing up in there, you know. Uh, anyway, it just shows you that the homeowner, and just in general, they're not thinking about, you know, efficiency or anything you know uh, when I'm on the job you know if I was them I would have made sure I had everything there so the Bobcat could do the work but they didn't so I get a, and it's a 45 minute drive from my house right on the fringe of what how far I'm willing to travel you know so and they're regular customers of mine so you know it just, you know, it just wasn't, it just wasn't, you know, ideal situation. Uh, they did not know that the people delivering the big shed was going to show up. And at least that's what they told me. And, um, you know, if I had not have been there, then they wouldn't have been able to get that shed uh, in there or get the truck out of there. <laughs> the truck got stuck delivering the shed. The truck got stuck numerous times, you know. Uh, and of course, it's a big rig. It's, it, it's, it's a big, it was a big, big truck, you know. But it wasn't four wheel drive, you know. Uh, so, and it was all real muddy too, man, so. So I spent an hour and a half, give or take, you know, fooling around with the freaking truck that kept getting stuck. It gets stuck, stuck. I pull it out. I, you know, pull on it some, get it back on dry ground or drier ground where it wouldn't get. And then it move, and then it move. And while while that's going on, I'm, you know, going on and doing the job I was actually hired for, you know. And then when it's all said and done, I get done with everything that I'm supposed to do. And then the guy, the owner, uh, says, hey, Ray, you think you can move, uh, can you move this pile of dirt? And y'all see the pile of dirt in the video. The pile of dirt was, you know, I don't know, 20 tons of dirt, you know, something like that. It, it was quite a lot of dirt, you know, because again, sometimes, well, most of the time when a, when, a, when something appears too good to be true, it is. They had somebody bring them free dirt. Or, you know, uh, uh, and they told them that the dirt had rocks in it. So they gave them, you know, you know, pennies on the dollar for this dirt, you know. And it's like three tandem loads of it, man, you know. It probably was... was uh, man, probably 30 tons of dirt, 
you know, give or take. And I probably use 10 tons of it, uh, you know, to to get the driveway kind of straight. Y'all see it all in the video. I don't even know what, what I mean, I'm probably gonna have to do some editing and talk you guys through some of the video. Okay guys, that's all I got today, man. I will try to get something together tomorrow, man. Y'all have a good evening.